So, after some CNCing, uh, the fun part begins. So these are the parts. And, um, well, it has still the clear or the plastic on it. See if I can get it off. This is the fun part. Oh, that's so weird. Ah, I chose overcut, which is not ideal, I think. No, it's not ideal. So it fits, but I wish it was a snugger fit, to be honest. This is not actually uh, how I planned it to be. Well, maybe next time. It does fit perfectly, but... Um, so I got some of the screws from this terminal blocks. I can lock it in place with that. So it's gonna sit like this for instance. Should have turned it around actually. Now when I look at it, should put it like this next time. Would be nicer. Hmm. Okay. Because now, the metal is going to sit in here, hopefully. Yeah, it should have turned it around. I could use the second screw to uh, lock this in place. As you can see, there is still room here for a screw, I think. Let's see if we can get jam it in. It might be hard to film this because it's also fiddly. Yeah, so I could lock it in place with a screw. But unfortunately, um, I should have turned these uh, 180 degrees screws facing this side. Now it's in the way of the metal, so this is not going to work. Same story for these. So that's quite annoying. Might even call it stupid. Hmm. Okay, well, but anyhow, it's gonna work like this. These tolerances could be tighter, to be honest. It's not really a pressure fit or something. It just slides in there. Next time. I'll make it a little bit, if I do it next time actually, but tolerances could be better. So this is gonna be the frame, and the, oh, it's bitching about battery life. This one has rounded corners, and uh, it is gonna hold the membrane. get this stuff off. Looks a bit nicer. So it's gonna sit like here. I'm gonna tap these holes. Maybe add some rubber or something dampening. So the foil of the membrane is gonna wrap around here and then this is gonna clamp it down. I don't really like this material. It looks really good. <clears throat> but Next step will be fitting in the magnets in here. And this is gonna determine the distance or the, the gap between the magnets. It's uh, three millimeters. It might be possible to have it smaller, but since I'm not sure how well it works, I chose three. So a, a little bit less magnetic strength, but uh, but yeah, I have to do some hand work because um, as you can see, these corners are rounded off. The metal is not rounded off. So next time I might not choose cold rolled steel because cold rolled steel has usually sharper corners. So it would save me some uh, hand work 
because it follows this line more. I could have overcut this, but the problem is that this section here would be gone then. And I need this section. So it's it comes down to some um, like just filing. Filing a little bit in the corner. Make it a little bit more square. I don't think it needs much. Ow! But we'll see. Ow. It's not the biggest file. I did manage to puncture myself already. Filing is not making it look prettier. Too bad. But this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put in one of the magnets in the correct way. Like this. And hopefully it fits and I'm gonna tap it. Tap it in place. Hmm. It is a tight fit, and I'm gonna use some three millimeter uh, spacer stuff and use it to align the other magnet, which is where, which is there. I chose the right size uh, side, this one. No, that was easy. Tap it in place. Move the spacer down. And hopefully we can tap this one in place as well. Would be nice. Not gonna tap it all the way down because we still need these to be. Uh, I have to fit these in. Hopefully, I'm still able to do that. Should have maybe done that before. Removing this is gonna be a problem, I think. To top it off, I might use some glue. So it doesn't fall apart when uh, playing with it. Tapping I will do later on. Well, this will work. Okay, that's in there. Still loosey goosey. Might use something. There you go. Wow, the image is uh, going well. One motor. Not perfect. Good enough for now. <laughs>